Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I was going to do a quick little weekend project and go ahead and paint this little hutch that I got at an estate sale a couple of months ago for $25. Every shelf has this little bar going across um, and I think that they at some point added this to um, the hutch because I don't know I don't know if they did or not but I'm taking it down um, but these are just basically so you can display plates or whatever you want like standing up and they won't slide and fall off but I don't have any plates to display I'm not displaying plates I just want to be able to um, sit things up here like canisters and this gets in the way because they don't lay they don't sit flat on the shelf so I'm taking them off um, I already removed this one and you can kind of see like the original color here of the hutch and then there's red paint it was painted red at one point um, the previous owner told me and she painted it green so I am now going to paint it white um, and this is and it's so dirty it's so dirty and so old um, I think I'm gonna paint these black to match the hardware on the kitchen cabinets um, but right now I'm just trying to get these little things here off so I started out using an exacto knife and tried to score it along the edge um, then I tried a little pry bar, but I found that the butter knife actually worked the best. Then I took a little sanding block and just sanded along the lines where I removed the bar just to kind of smooth it out. So plan A was to use this Krylon spray paint in the chalky finish classic white color. I had two cans on hand already that I had not used and I decided that it would be quicker to just spray paint the hutch rather than try to hand paint it but I'm about to tell you why that was not a great idea. I thought it would be easier to take this thing outside and just spray paint it, but it was so hot outside, you guys. With the heat index, it was like 106 degrees. The sun was shining so bright, and this stuff was taking forever to coat. Um, I think the one can only got me like the top shelf there. I ended up using both cans just on this top piece and I didn't even get the top piece done and you could clearly see blotches everywhere um, because it didn't cover enough so I would have had to have gone to the store and bought probably six or seven more cans which were between five and six dollars a can and to me that was just way too much money um, and I decided to go to plan B which was to use the primer and the paint that I used on my kitchen cabinets take it back inside where it was air conditioned and paint it that way and even though it took me a little longer it turned out fine and I didn't have to stay outside in the heat I painted this with two coats of primer and then I went back over it with two coats of paint um, three coats in some areas just to cover up that green but I really like it the good thing about painting it with the paint that I painted the cabinets with is that it matches the color exactly my cabinets are not stark white they're just a little bit off white um, so I think if I had spray painted it it would have been a lot whiter than my cabinets and they wouldn't have matched perfectly which isn't a big deal but this just turned out you know turned out easier and, and it looks great So 
so here's how everything turned out I think it looks awesome I did take all of the hardware off and take that outside and use the um, black spray paint that I used on the hinges for my kitchen cabinets in the farmhouse black and I sprayed those so now I just need to get those back on and put the hutch back together so you can see how everything turned out Okay, here it is, all put together in some really bad lighting. Sorry guys, but it was late in the evening by the time I got this done. Um, but it looks awesome, I'm so excited about it. I love this little hutch. I love thinking about um, where it's been, you know, such an old little hutch and all the hardware on the front is so old. The little lion handles are so old. I thought about getting the hardware that matches my cabinets but I decided to keep these because I don't know I just think it goes well with the old hutch um, just thinking about you know this hutch once being in somebody's house when it was wood stained and then being in someone else's house they painted it red and then being in someone else's house and they painted it green and now it's here in my house and it's white and all I can think about is how awesome it's gonna look with Halloween and fall decor on it I can't wait to decorate it Here are a few shots once I put everything back on it that was on the hutch before. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.